Hello. Right, hello everybody. Right, this is my second attempt. And to train soon will fall video. I say in this video, guys, we're going to be looking at the Flying Scotsman. I say we're going to be doing this through rail journeys. We're not going to be doing the timetable scenario or anything like that, guys. We're just going to be doing it through, as I say, rail journeys. I say the Flying Scotsman, guys, at the moment is only available with the Deluxe Edition and the Special Edition. I say it's not available as a DLC yet until the 26th of October 2023. So, if you bought the special, uh, sorry, the standard edition, guys, and you're inter interested in the Flying Scotsman, yeah, you just have to, yeah, you just have to wait until the 26th of October, 2023. But yeah, I will put my social links down below, guys. I'll put the link to this game down below as well. And yes, guys, I'm running on the deluxe edition, so you might see if you've got the standard edition, you might see some things that you don't have in the standard edition, but are available in the deluxe edition. But yeah, I do apologise guys if there's any FPS or audio problems in this stream. I do apologise if my game decides to crash again. So anyway, let's get into it, shall we? So we're going to go over to Rail Journeys. We're going to scroll down to the East Coast Mainline, Peterborough to Doncaster or Donny. You might hear me say Donny a lot more. We're going to go to the Steamy. We're hopefully going to go to the Flying Scotsman introduction if this time it actually decides to work. I'm hoping that it starts to work this time. There we go, the Flying Scotsman introduction! So yeah, this is actually a beautiful train. Just look at that, guys. Just look at this that. this training module, you'll be learning how to drive the iconic LNER Class A3 steam locomotive number 60103, better known as Flying Scotsman. During this brief introduction, you'll be taken through the critical driving controls and performing passenger operations. When you're ready, climb onto the footplate. So yeah, like I say guys, it looks absolute, it just looks beautiful. That's the thing, it looks beautiful. And yes, we're on the training centre, guys. Take a seat at the driver's position so that we can prepare this locomotive for operation. Yes, I will in a moment. What we're going to do is we're going to have a look through here. Because this is a nice little addition. You can, cr well, crouch, go through here. Open the door. Yeah, you can actually go through there, though, because it won't let me unlock those, sadly. And then, yeah, you've also got your GSMR in here. You've also got your cold door in there, which you sadly can't go in. Uh, can't shut me. That can't shut me at the door. Can I please shut me at the door? There we go. Can I shut those doors as well? Come on. Nope, can't shut those doors. <coughs> right. It just looks so beautiful inside. It just looks... Hello. Yeah, it looks so beautiful. Um, a nice fire in there as well. <coughs> there we go. For this introduction, you'll be completing a full loop of the circuit and performing passenger operations when you reach the next stop. Let's prepare this locomotive for departure. But first, let open the cylinder cocks to remove any water from the cylinders after the locomotive has been left standing. Water in the cylinders can damage the locomotive as it does not compress like steam. Right, let's do something before we go. Sorry, I just had to do, I just had to do the whistle. 
Right, cylinder clocks, switch it down here. Uh, come on. Cylinder clocks. Clocks? Cylinder clocks. Oh, it looks like I've got to get up and do it then, haven't we? Okay. The reverser determines the direction of travel and how much steam is consumed as the locomotive moves. Move the reverser into the... To begin loading passengers, you will need to open the passenger doors. Really? Even though no passengers are actually going to get on board. Actually, do you know what? We'll put the lights on as well. God, she looks like she looks a beauty. It's time to depart. Close the passenger doors. Unlike other steam locomotives you may have operated, this locomotive has had its vacuum brakes upgraded to air brakes. The locomotive brake applies braking force on just the locomotive, whereas the train brake applies it to the entire formation. As this train has air brake equipped coaches, we'll be using the train brake. Can we take the train brake off? The regulator acts like the throttle for steam locomotives. It controls how much steam is delivered into the cylinders. Slowly open the regulator to apply some power. Remember that power delivery is delayed in... I just need to just check something a second. My audio is what I need to check. So I'm just bringing the game sound effects down a bit. I had them turned up, guys, because the flight, not the flight, has got to me. The Zia, the Zizuza. No, the Azuma's um, AWS was too quiet. Yeah, she is, she is a beauty. She is a beauty. And yes, if you've if you've noticed guys, I haven't got the speedo down in the bottom right hand corner either. Because I'm mostly using the in-game speedos. This locomotive was originally built in 1923 as one of Sir Nigel Resnick's new A1 class called Pacifics and was numbered 1472. It would later, along with all but one of the other A1 locomotives, be upgraded and modified into an A3. In 1924, this locomotive was chosen as a flagship example of the British Empire Exhibition, where it was given the number 4472 and its now famous name after the Flying Scotsman Express service between Edinburgh and London. In 1934, Flying Scotsman was the tour of 100 miles per hour of special test truck, commissioned to make the first locomotive to be used at speed. The test run proved to the LNR's directors that steam power could provide high speeds, negating the plan for the company to use diesel power by most of the services. Sir William McAlpine took the steam Australia, making it the first steam to 
So she's an absolute beauty. Yeah, she just looks absolutely magnificent. I'm sorry, but she really does. That wasn't helpful, was it? Stopped it a bit too far away from the station. She is an absolute beauty, she is. I say, in real life, guys, I'm not a big fan of the Flying Scotsman in real life, but in Trenton World, oh my god, she just blows me away. Hopefully, what I'm hoping is on some li 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 some lines in Trentin World, hopefully we get a uh, rail tour with the Flying Scotsman.
As I say, she's an absolute... Come on. Come on, old girl. There we go, we've got the old girl to it. Now that the train has stopped, you can open the passenger doors. But yeah, she is just, she's a beauty. So we've got to go, we've got to go to photo mode. Oh, for God's sake. I'm just going to drop my saturation slightly. I think my saturation's a bit too much there. Yeah, she is a, she's a beauty. And that was photo mode I used, guys, which is a really useful tool in Train Sim World 4. Come on, photo mode. Uh, just bear with me a second. Hello. Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this locomotive. Really? Wow. So I just need to just check something, guys. Make sure my um. That picture I just took actually uploaded. And I got a achievement for driving the Flying Scotsman. Oh, I got two achievements. So I just need to just check something and then... So it's bear with me a second, guys. Right, okay. Well, I'd say I got over there. What? I'd say, guys, I will get a picture of the Flying Scotsman and put it as the cover photo. I will do that for you. But yeah, there we go. So, yep, yeah, we can continue the journey or anything like that, but we're going to go back to the main menu. But yeah, in the next video, guys, I will do whatever the next scenario is on the rail journeys. Whatever that will be, if my game decides to actually load. <laughs> There we go. So yeah, to the trains, to rail journeys. Back down to the East Coast Main Line, Peterborough to Donny. Uh, Steamy Affair. So yeah, uh, the next one, guys, we will be doing will be... Well, we've got a choice between... The one Zulu, London King's Cross to York, Part 2. 1 Zulu 4 1 York to London King's, Cr London King's Cross. And anyway, we've also got Raising the Shed. So, yeah, 
I'll be doing one of those in the next video guys, which will probably either be a video or it'll be a stream, it'll be one of the two. But yeah, like I said guys, I will put my social links down below. I will put the link to this game down below. I won't be able to put the link to this DLC down below yet, guys, because this DLC isn't available as a DLC yet. But yeah, I say from now on, guys, all my Train Sim World videos are going to be working through all the rail journeys. That's including all the new routes. And then once I've done all the new routes, we will jump over to the old routes. But yeah, there we go, guys. I say my stream's coming up, guys, this week. Will be no stream tomorrow. Back into Starfield on Tuesday, hopefully back into TSW4 on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all to be confirmed at the moment, and next Sunday, no stream! But yeah, there you go guys, I'd say this will be available on YouTube, if you want to look at all my other train to more content guys, it is available on my YouTube channel to watch as well. But yeah, there we go guys, enjoy the rest of your day guys, stay safe, stay happy, and I will catch you guys in the next one.